Hey everyone, welcome to episode 5 of Taken to the Text. This week we're going to be reading from 2 Kings chapter 2 verses 1 through 12 and the Gospel of Mark chapter 9 verses 2 through 9. So hit pause, read it, and now let's take it to the text. So in summary, we have in 2 Kings two prophets. Elijah and Elisha, and the two got along very well, and they were together. But then it was said that Elijah was going to be taken up to heaven, which he eventually did in a chariot of fire, which is pretty cool. But Elisha didn't really like that. Prophets from Jericho told Elisha that this was going to happen, and Elisha told them to be quiet. He didn't want to hear it. He wanted Elijah to stay, and he wanted to be with Elijah. Elisha didn't want to just leave Elijah alone, but eventually Elijah did go up into heaven on a chariot of fire, and Elisha mourned. He didn't want to see the prophet go. And then we have in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus takes his close crew Peter, James, and John, up a mountain. And all of a sudden, Jesus just starts changing. The scriptures say he turns dazzling white, but I also like to think other colors. And then Peter saw that Elijah and Moses were with them. And Peter wanted to stay. He wanted to pitch a tent and stay. But that just wasn't the case. But before everything disappeared, a cloud appeared before them and said, Look, this is Jesus, my beloved, the Son of God. And they were amazed. They were scared. But still, they wanted to stay in that space. And then in the end, they go down the mountain, and Jesus tells them not to tell anyone. So, some kind of mountain So the tea is this week is that we often like to make our dwellings in the wonder and the mystical nature of the divine. We find it beautiful. We find it mesmerizing. We find it magical. But oftentimes our gaze is narrowed if we stay there too long. Often our gaze, when we look into the dazzling white, we often miss the other colors that are also dazzling and beautiful, that are part of humanity, where the divine also lives in other wonderful and mystical ways. We often get comfortable in what we see as the wonderfulness of the divine, just like Elisha got comfortable being around Elijah. Just like the disciples, they wanted to stay in that space, which is great sometimes. We need to keep that in front of us, that divinity of God. But we also cannot forget that we're also called to be in the discomfort. We're also called to be within the humanity of the world. We're in that. We bring the divine to meet it. We bring to humanity the love of that divine, the justice of that divine. But we can't always pitch our tents in that and get comfortable. So now I want you to get out of here. I want you to pack up your tent. I want you to get off the mountain. I want you to savor seeing what you saw, the divinity of God, divinity in Christ. I want you to wave goodbye to the chariot of fire and head down the mountain 
and get to work and get to work on the journey down in humanity, but bringing that divine wherever you go and loving and doing justice in the world. So pack up your tents, y'all.